guide to pocket presence and pass lead. So Ooh. let's talk about this, Gibbs. Okay. If you're going to pass the ball and you're going to get these guys who are putting their line on aggressive and they're maybe they're containing and they're screaming after the quarterback, what are some good pocket presence tips you can do? And we'll talk about some pass leads. How do you like to maneuver with the quarterback in the pocket, not throw off your back foot, not get under pressure throws, you can get more accurate passes? The first thing I'll tell you is lay off the left stick entirely. You can play the whole game of just let your pocket form around you, and now and then now you move, right? There's a bad habit that we all have, and I'll, and I'll say that I have it. Uh, when you're controlling the quarterback, you want to have you, like hold the back stick backwards, and then you get in this habit where you do that. Like you yeah. roll out and it, you know what I mean? Like that's a Madden yesteryear thing that is like entrenched in the way we want to play. It's hold the stick back and then like the second like you kind of like break a certain plane, you just you crank the right trigger and then you roll out. But what ends up happening is with these pass rushes, people using contain so often, so put a contain out there. Yeah. Uh, what ends up happening is you do that and then you dri dri drift too far. That happens and it's like, oh boy. Oh, right, and you don't have the best agility in the pocket to really like cut back in once you do so. You don't want to rush yourself back at the snap. So number one, don't hold the left stick backwards. Right, just let the drop back happen yep. and then rotate, and then rotate. You don't want to break the plane of the quarterback's original drop step. So what I mean by that is... Every play in the game has a design, two, uh, three step, five step, maybe a few seven stop, uh, step drop backs. Don't break that plane. Like you go here, that's where you should be, and then maneuver in the pocket here. Look how much better my pass protection is. Like that, that I dominated there, right? For all intents and purposes, and I eventually had to roll out to get more room. But there's so much of a benefit when you stay in the pocket, you step up, you move left to right lateral, opposed to when you play this game here. When I, I, I scramble backwards, I'm here. He breaks off, yeah. And, and then now I'm screwed. Able to break off. And now I'm just royally screwed. So you can't do that. You have to, it's really hard because you, you and especially guys want to bring edge pressure. So you it feels awkward because they come from the edge and they kind of got to step up here like this, move around. But look at this, I'm dancing in the pocket. I'm tennis, tennis ball drop I'm dancing. Six. I'm dancing, baby. I'm dancing. I'm dancing, and I'm going, and I'm dotting. And the longer you stay in the pocket, the more guys are going to get open, the more you have a chance to play maker, and the more you roll out. Like, it's so easy to roll out of the pocket, and then I just send my spy. So we play this game. Like, I roll, you roll, and now, boom, uh -oh. like, but if you had waited to roll, well, then I can't send a guy. If you stay in the pocket and I spy you, mm -hmm. Very risky for me to send the spy because the blocker could get picked up. So say you chill in the pocket, chill in the pocket, and then I decide to send the spy. He gets blocked. Now you can just but, run. But look at the difference here. Right. Like, look how long. Look, let's let's just do an experiment. Well, you know, I won't. I won't. Um, I won't roll. I'll just stay in the pocket and I'll just dance. I'll just Tony dance on you. Tony, Tony dance. Tony dance. Tony dance. Tony dance. Tony dance. Did you count? I forgot. There's six Tony Danzas. Okay, six Tony Danzas? Six Tony Danzas. All right, so now if I immediately go and then I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Okay, that actually worked well because I had a double team there. But point is, stay in the pocket. Off the left stick. Don't Step Tony Step up in the pocket. Always have one short drag across the middle that you can just dump it to as you step in. And don't, especially with like nickel blitz, just start running out of the pocket because then you actually give them a pursuit and give them an angle that they wouldn't normally have. So... Like what you'll see, and you could, somebody actually asked the question in the mailbag, Gibbs, what's the new 100 reps before bed? Pocket presence. Pocket Tony, presence game 101. Get, get Tony Dan. So, Tony so roll Dancer. deep right. So roll deep right here. Like, you'll now give that guy who's now edge fighting, he just got off the buck because you rolled out. Right. Whereas if you stay in the pocket, yeah, it's scary. Yeah, he might still win and then you're in bad position, but it's, it's yeah, not a good you, I mean, the, the 100 thing, the 100 reps before bed is the Tony Dan's in the pocket. Just get your Tony Dan's. Press hike. Chill, see what you can do. Tony Dancer, 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 I'm dancing, I'm dancing, I'm Tony Dancer, don't break the pocket, get out, ah, get out, get out, like, ah, yeah, there you go, ah, that would have dropped it, that would have been the first pass, you didn't drop back and throw a pick, so against cover zero, no, you want to get rid of the ball, you want to identify what it is, because you either, you can't pick up the blitz, so if I said six, you're not blitzing six, you didn't know to look for the halfback, you don't really want to roll out, because that's enough. But you have to know what to look for. That's more for like mild rush. Yeah. Um, 